Good morning and welcome along to another lesson with Mr Burns. We're going to continue on with straight line work. We've been working on the gradient recently and today you're going to produce a table of values for a given linear equation. Now every linear equation that we're going to deal with in straight line is going to take this form where m represents the gradient which you've seen already from the previous videos and C represents the intersection of the line with the y-axis. So we'll have our horizontal with x, our vertical with our y, our gradient tells us the steepness of the line and our y-intersection is where the line crosses the y-axis. Now you're going to produce a table of values for a given linear equation. So the first example is going to be y equals 2x. Now we've seen in the previous videos that the equals tells you that the left hand side, so everything to the left of the equals, is equal to everything to the right of the equals sign. So all the y values are equal to 2 times the x values. So let's set up a table of values. Let's put x at the top, y at the bottom. Let's draw a table of values. And then that's, let's look at some numbers on the number line. So why don't we go from 0? And we'll do a couple either side of zero. So zero represents a zero right here. Okay, so this is our number line on our x on our horizontal. And this will be the numbers on the number line. So we'll go to either side. Negative one and negative two. Okay, now all the y values are equal to two lots of the x values. So let's take x equals 2, 2 lots of negative 2, 2 times negative 2, 2 multiplying negative 2. So 2 multiplying 2 is 4, so 2 multiplying negative 2 is negative 4. Alright. All the y values are equal to 2 lots of the x values. x is equal to 1. 2 lots of 1 is equal to 2. 2 lots of negative 1 is equal to negative 2. 2 lots of 0. 2 lots of 1. And 2 lots of 2. Okay, that completes the first question. We'll do some working at the side just to show you what we may need to do if they become trickier. Now the second one, let's take this form y equals 3x minus 4. Okay, so minus 4. So that tells us that the gradient is 3, so that's quite steep, gradient 3. Okay, y-intersection is negative 4, y-intersection is negative 4, so we're down here at negative 4. Alright, let's draw our tables of values again. Our x and our y. Okay, so our x being the numbers on the x-axis, let's treat this as a number line, a horizontal number line. Let's go from 0 and we'll go to either side again. So we'll go 1, 2 to the right of 0 and 2 to the left of 0. Alright. Now, what does this tell us? If the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, equals being as equal to, then this tells us that the y values are equal to 3 times the x values minus 4. Okay, so 3 times the x values minus 4. So let's do a wee bit of working just for this first one then. So if x 
is equal to negative 2, right? Then y is equal to 3 lots of negative 2, 3 times negative 2, minus 4. So y is equal to, so 3 lots of 2 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, so 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, minus 4. So negative 6 minus 4 is negative 10. Okay, let's do the next one. x equal to negative 1. So our equation, y is equal to, it has the same value as 3 lots of net, 3 lots of x, 3 times x, minus 4. So 3 times negative 1, minus 4. 3 times 1 is 3, so 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, minus 4. So we've got negative 7 in here. Maybe I should have given myself more space. 0. Okay. 3 lots of 0. So a 0, a 0, and a 0 is still 0. Minus 4. 0 minus 4. Minus 4. x is equal to 1. So we're over here now. x is equal to 1. 3, lots of 1, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 minus 4, okay, so if it helps, your number line again, we're at 3, again, just do a few either side, we're at 3 and we're minus 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1. 3 lots of 2, 3 times 2, 3 multiplied by 2 is 6, 6 minus 4 is 2. Okay, so what you might want to look at is the patterns. I'll let you have a think about that and we'll talk about it in the next lesson. Look at the patterns and the numbers. Look at the corresponding equation, right? So the equation that equals is present. Again, look at this equation and look at the pattern here. Okay, so we've got minus 10, minus 7, minus 4, minus 1 and 2 for the corresponding x values. Thanks for watching.